Hi everyone and welcome to this Halloween special of my Photoshop tutorials and today I'm going to teach you how to make you yourself and others in photos uh, like zombies and so a picture like this to something like this it's pretty scary um, so today I'm going to do a step by step so it's going to be in the individual bits so Today, I'm, at the moment, I'm going to teach you how to expand the mouth and widen the eyes in this photo. And in, I'm going to do some more tutorials teaching you how to basically, if you haven't got an open mouth, if, what to do on that side, and if you haven't got like wide open eyes in like in this photo, and what to do in that basically. And to start off with, you want to open your image in Photoshop, and to do that, you want to go to File and Open, and then uh, select your image, and it'll come into uh, Photoshop then from there you want to copy your photo like that and uh, so I make a copy of it then from there you want to basically zoom in and you can refer to uh, my eye tutorial what I teach you earlier basically select the pen tool go around the eyes like so I'm not being too detailed here because this is a uh, you'd have a lot more uh, play around with it right click and then press make selection and you want it on FIFA radius 1 press ok and we make a selection zoom out so you can see the eyes press image adjustments hue and saturation press colorize and select the color you most want now I'm going to put the lightness down put the saturation up and it will go to dark red and then press OK and then press Control and D deselect, now you've changed the eye color right, now for the next bit what you want to do is you want to select your layer then go to filter and then you want to go to liquify and it'll open a new page up then from there you want to zoom in then you want to select the forward warp tool and get a bigger brush and then select the mouth and then pull it outwards so you want it to be a lot bigger than what it used to be because um, then you have then you can play around with the teeth and that. So once done, zoom out and have a look at it. If it doesn't look right, keep playing around with it until it looks better. Until you've got it. Once you've done that, you want to zoom in again and you want to select the bloat tool. Then from there, you want to bloat the eyes out. Basically like so. Zoom out. And it's looking pretty good at the moment. I'm still not happy with the mouth, so I'm going to play a bit around with it, bring it up a bit, like so. That looks pretty okay. Then you want to click OK, and it'll save what you've done to it. Now, the next bit from here is you want to uh, put in a new layer. So, which I'm going to add in a different layer, which is a uh, gradient basically I got the image from uh, Google and stuff so I have gone for a marble tile um, effect like that and you select that and bring it over to your image now you want to bring it all the way over your image like so double click to select it in place then you want to go through and select which one blends in most of you like that one or that one that one just go through them until you found the one that you most like. So I'm just gonna go through them and that one will do. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to copy that layer to bring it down and uh, to new layer and it'll uh, make it a lot more of an effect. So you can go for all different effects, like so. I've gone for soft light, like 
like so. But you don't have to go like that. You can um, select which whatever one you want. Like I've gone for colour burn, or just play around with it really, basically. But you don't have to have that effect, like so. That'll do for me. Then once you've done that, you want to add in another layer, which is cracks. And you can find this off of um, Google just by typing cracks or um, stuff like that. Once you've found your image, go to put it in and select it all the way over, like so. Double click and you'll select it into place. Then what you want to do is you want to go and have a look. Overlay. You want to go through them, selecting which ones you want best, which ones look better. So once you've found it, that one looks pretty good, so I'll I'll keep with that one or I might change it or that one that one looks okay or no that one looks like the best so we'll keep with that one and that one's vivid light so once you've done that you want to basically select the eraser tool zoom in and you want to take it out of the mouth so you, so you don't want all the cracks in the mouth because it doesn't look right like so and you also don't want it over the eyes because it won't look right so just take it all out once you've done that zoom out again now that you've done all of that what you want to do is you want to select your layer your the one with the face not all the other layers and then you want to go to filter and then liquify again now I'll just select that layer now from there you want to go, grab the forward walk tool and then bring the brush down and zoom in on the teeth bring the brush down a bit more you want the brush to fit the size basically of the teeth like so that'll do and then you just want to bring it like that just sweep it down like so like that like that want to bring another teeth up here and uh, this is a bit of his gum but this will transform into a, like a tooth anyway so might as well so I'll keep it like that then you want to zoom out and there's his teeth don't forget if you're not happy with the teeth like this go back in and then redo again it's like you can get many different ways when you sweep it so just keep playing around with it basically so like that like so and then once you're done press OK and now you've got his teeth like that now for the best bit is the blood effect now for the blood you want to go to um, press your paintbrush tool go up and select your blood effect now if you haven't got any blood effect um, paintbrushes then this website is going to save you right this website is called brusheasy.com now you can just type it into Google and I'll put the link into the description now this website has brushes patterns um, gradients you name it they've got it now this is a lifesaver this website so use the brushes once you uh, go on there just type in blood give it a second and then it will come up you will have all different blood effects like dried blood and stuff like that uh, set what one you want just go through them I've got all of them at the moment and then once you've done that select the one you want now I've got this one right here like so now you want to make a new layer so just click new layer and then make a blank one now you want to zoom in now you want to select your uh, color you want it dark red like so like that then you want to basically bring your opticity down to about 25 ish something like that and then basically go over like so 
of the mouth. Keep clicking because you brought the opticity down. You just keep clicking. And don't forget, zoom out to see what you're doing, like so. Now, for the eyes, you want to put the paintbrush down a bit and then just go over the eyes very lightly, not too much. So he's bleeding from the eyes. So it'll create a better effect. Now you can go back and have a brighter red, something like so. Like that. Bring it around the eyes again. Zoom out. You've got your blood effect. Now don't now don't forget you don't have to um, have that sort of colour, you can have different colours in blood effect. Uh, I'm gonna make like bit here like so and then bring it down and then just drag it so it create like a stain go back to a darker red so if you put darker like lighter red first and darker red it'll create like a like where it's dried blood and stuff like that so it's been there for a while and stuff like that now the next thing is the burn tool. Now select the burn tool and you want to go basically go over it, highlight it. Basically up here you've got a range. And it says ranges. You've got midtones highlights. You want to start with highlights. Just go around the eyes very gently, not too much. Don't forget to put the exposure down because you don't want it um, to be too much. Then you want to go to midtones very gently as well and you want to go to shadows now do the shadows of the eyes best does the eyes makes the uh, blood like darker stuff like that now now you've done that basically that's the finished product but I mean it's not the same as the original like I created but you're going to have a lot more time on your hands because I'm rushing because this is a tutorial now you want to play around with it add more uh, blood if you want to like so like that and then basically you're done and then now in the other tutorials I'm going to show you how to create effects with like if you've got the eyes a lot more closed and if the mouth is a lot more closed so you couldn't have teeth and that, so you do stuff like that. So that's going to be my next tutorial. Hope you like this, and please comment and subscribe what you think. Bye.